Vampire Therapist is quite a unique and engaging visual novel that combines humor, a fair bit of history, and real-life therapy techniques. In this game, you play a former cowboy-turned-vampire therapist who helps other vampires work through centuries of emotional baggage, decades of delusions, and the odd bout of self-loathing. But can therapy really help the immortal? Well, in this video, I'll be sharing what I liked about the game, the fascinating stories and clever gameplay mechanics, along with some areas that could use a bit of polish. By the end, you'll see if this game will be in your next gaming session. Thank you to the developers for giving us early access to this game, and just a heads up, while we've been given early access, all opinions shared here are our own. And a gentle reminder that while we'll only show clips from the official channels and the demo, there might be some that you might consider minor spoilers. The game is set in a world where vampires coexist with humans, seeking therapy to handle their eternal life's unique challenges. You play as Sam, a former cowboy turned vampire therapist, who works with his mentor Andromachus, a 3,000-year-old vampire. I love how the game combines humor and heartfelt moments as it explores the complex lives of the vampire clients, each with their own intriguing backstories, including Sam's. At the start, you'll find out that he used to be all about fighting and causing trouble, but now he wants to help other vampires feel better. You'll meet vampires from different times in history, like ancient Greece and Renaissance Italy. Each vampire has their own issues to deal with, and it's your job to help them out. The mix of history with a modern take and comedy makes the game pretty fun and engaging for me. But my favorite part is how it doesn't shy away from tackling serious issues. And while the game covers concerns of vampires, you'll find that you can challenge your thinking on how you see the world as well. The characters in Vampire Therapist are pretty awesome and unique. They are diverse and interesting, from a former outlaw and a scientist trying to invent vampire veganism, to a misanthropic Twitch streamer and a priest who listens to metal. Each character brings their own quirks and backstories, making every interaction exciting. Sam, the main character, is trying to leave his past behind and become a good therapist, while his mentor Andromachus is an ancient vampire who helps Sam learn the ropes. Their relationship is important to the story and really interesting to follow. I admit that I wasn't exactly fond of a cowboy vampire, but Sam grew on me. His personality and backstory pull heartstrings. You'll also meet lots of vampires with their own problems. For example, there's Isabella, a vampire from the Italian Renaissance who's struggling with feeling important. You use your therapy techniques to help your clients and get to the root of the issue. Sometimes what you'll find out is a bit unexpected. There are double layers of character growth here. One is their past. As you continue their sessions, you'll find out how they got to where they are now in the present time. While the second is how they are slowly moving forward in their lives from your sessions. And I enjoyed getting to know every one of them. In Vampire Therapist, you'll help vampires with their mental health problems. As Sam, you use real-life therapy techniques to help them think more positively and deal with their issues. I really like this disclaimer, but I do think the game lets you be more familiar with it. The gameplay focuses on identifying and challenging cognitive distortions, similar to mechanics found in games like Ace Attorney. And my favorite is that the game teaches you how to recognize and challenge negative thoughts, making it both fun and educational. As a visual novel, it has autoplay and logs, which really helps you unbind when it's time to choose a distortion. I did find that the autoplay is too slow though, and unfortunately has a bug that the dialogue still moves even when a different screen is open like the settings of the notebook. That said, the game is quite unpunishing. If you choose a wrong distortion, it will just repeat it. Mid-game, you'll be able to choose which distortions you'll bring in a session. And given that the game is unpunishing, in my perspective, it gives off a sort of how do you want this session to go kind of feel. And it just makes for quite a fun replay value. And besides therapy sessions, there are also mini games and activities to keep things interesting. You can try mindfulness meditation or play mini games like consensual neck biting, which is a kind of weird gameplay experience, but it balances out the more serious parts of the game. The mindfulness meditation needs instructions because unfortunately it's not as intuitive as the devs would have liked it. It took me 10 minutes to finally get that I had to hover over the thoughts. This is a known concern, and the devs have confirmed that they'll be fixing it in upcoming updates. With all of that said and done, my favorite part of the game features would be Sam's notes. It gives reminders on how to tell apart cognitive distortions, his observations on his clients, and most of all, a gateway to his mind. And in all honesty, I find it adorable. His thoughts, that is. The visuals in Vampire Therapist are captivating and fitting for its vampire theme in my opinion. The game takes place in a gothic-style club in Europe where humans and vampires hang out together. 
and the character designs are detailed and match their backgrounds and personalities, making them stand out. While the game's art style combines detailed backgrounds with expressive character animations, creating a rich and immersive world. The curtain animation can get glitchy though, but I heard it's going to be fixed in upcoming updates. Although really it's a minor issue and doesn't take away from the gameplay experience. The visuals help bring the story and characters to life, making the game even more engaging. I would want to mention though how the game has amazing voice acting and the voices make the characters feel real and add depth to the story. While I'm not sure how accurate it is, I enjoy the accents which is another point on how diverse the characters are here. The music in the game fits perfectly with the gothic setting and the emotional moments, enhancing the overall experience. From the sounds of the goth club to the subtle audio cues during therapy sessions, everything is designed to pull you deeper into the game's world. What sets Vampire Therapist apart is its ability to tackle serious topics in a fun and accessible way. The use of real cognitive behavioral therapy concepts makes the game not only engaging but also a valuable learning experience. Not to mention, the diverse cast of characters and a detailed world makes the game stand out. Along with some cozy self-introspection, Vampire Therapist offers a fresh and unique take on vampire stories. If you're looking for a game that's both fun and thought-provoking, Vampire Therapist is a must-play. The storyline balances funny vampire antics with relatable human emotions, creating a memorable experience that will stick with you long after you finish playing. Whether you're a fan of vampires, a fan of Ace Attorney-like games, or just looking for something different, Vampire Therapist is definitely worth checking out. Narrative games are like a relaxing escape into a world where you can explore at your own pace with cozy mechanics and story-rich narratives. And in this video, we'll talk about the emotional roller coaster of a narrative about the life of a teenager in a vibrant and culturally rich environment. If you enjoy games like these as much as I do, you won't want to miss this. So click on the video and I'll see you there. Stay awesome, gamers!